The field calibrated utility allows the user to download one or more items as tasks into a documenting process calibrator such as a Fluke 754 while overwriting that calibrator's current list of tags. Then, the user can take that calibrator out into the field to perform their work and then upload their calibration results into Procal V5 as calibration records. To open the field calibrated utility, select the upload download button on the left side of your screen. Once the screen is open, you can see evidence of your connected calibrator within the port section in the bottom right corner. Initially, it will display the COM port which your calibrator is connected to. Selecting Refresh Ports will refresh the section to display the calibrator model and serial number. Selecting Calibrator Info will display the manufacturer, model number, serial number, task count, and result count. As you can see here, we are on the Download tab. This is where you will determine which tags will be downloaded to the calibrator. There are four methods to choose from for generating a list of tags to download. The first is by cows due. This option gives you a list of instruments or loops which are due before or on the specified due date. Leave the date field blank to see all available items. To add an item to the list of tags to be downloaded, simply populate the checkbox next to it. Clicking on any item displays its information to the right of the checklist area. When a particular item cannot be added to the tag list, it is grayed out and unavailable for selection and the reason it cannot be downloaded is displayed within the item's information. The next option is By Query. By Query allows you to use an advanced query to add or remove tags from the list of tags to be downloaded. Each query tab has the same functions. The New Query button. Clicking this button brings up the advanced query screen with which you can build a new query for the selected record type. The Modify Query button allows you to modify an existing query. The Add All button adds every valid calibration item found within the query's results to the list of tags to be downloaded. If any errors occur, they are displayed after the function attempts to add all items found to the tag list. The Remove All button removes every calibration item found within the query's results from the list of tags to be downloaded. The View Options section contains three options, Selection Criteria, Query Preview, and Checklist. When Selection Criteria is selected, the criteria of the current query is displayed. When Query Preview is selected, the results of your query and a list of tags that are able to be downloaded to the calibrator are displayed. The Checklist option displays a checklist that is a reflection of the results generated by the query. Once again, clicking on any item displays its information to the right of the checklist area, and as with the Buy Cows Do section, if a particular item cannot be added to the tag list, it is grayed out and the reason it cannot be downloaded is displayed within the item's information. The next download option is by Open Tasks and Requests. This option allows you to choose which tags will be downloaded by their maintenance request or the tasks that have been created for them. Three radio buttons appear on this page. They are Show Open Calibration Tasks. This selection will force the list to only display tasks which have an open status. Show Open Maintenance Requests, not assigned to a work order. This selection will only display maintenance requests that have been created for items that are not part of a work order record. And Show Both Tasks and Requests. This option will force the list to display both open calibration tasks and open maintenance requests. The final download option is by configuration. This download option displays an organizational view of your ProCal V5 data. Each item appears as a sub-item of the record it is attached to. All downloadable items appear with an icon indicating their item type. To add an item to the list of tags to be downloaded, simply check the box next to it. As with other options, selecting any item displays information to the right of the checklist area and when a particular item cannot be added to the tag list, it is once again grayed out and unavailable for checking, with the reason it cannot be downloaded displayed with the item's information. Use the Refresh button if the database has changed and you need to rebuild the organizational view. Once you've selected a download option and have selected the tags you'd like to download to your calibrator, you can select the Initiate Download button to start the download process. This process may take a few moments depending on how many tags you have generated. Upon completion of a successful download, a confirmation message will appear. 
After your download is complete, you can disconnect your calibrator and begin using any successfully downloaded procedures. Once your work is complete, you'll want to upload those calibrations back into Procal V5. Just connect your calibrator again, navigate back to the upload download screen, and this time open its upload tab. This tab will give you various options that you can apply to your upload. In the Assign Technicians to Calibration section, the Who Calibrated field is used to assign the selected technician to all calibrations or calibrations with unassigned or unknown technicians which are uploaded from the calibrator regardless of which ID is sent back from the connected device. The name will appear in the Who Calibrated field of the calibration record. Selecting the Use Technician ID as uploaded from device on All Calibrations radio button will apply the Technician ID associated with the calibrator to the calibrations that are uploaded as long as the technician's name has been entered into Procal V5. The default calibration type for uploaded calibrations field is used to apply the selected calibration type to all uploaded calibrations. The Default Test Instrument Warning Options section displays options for how Procal V5 will handle test instrument warnings during the upload. During the upload, the calibrator and other auxiliary test standards may or may not be recognized by the system. If this is the case, then certain warnings may apply according to your Procal V5 company options. These options are Not found If the test instrument is not found in a database, this warning will be triggered. Out of Calibration if the test instrument is not found in the database but the next calibration date is before today's date, it will trigger this warning. Not approved. If the test instrument is found in the database but is not currently approved, this warning will be triggered. Inactive status. If the test instrument has an inactive status, it will trigger this warning. After all of your upload settings have been set, you can select the Initiate Upload button to upload your calibration. Selecting this button will Upload all result data from the connected calibrator Skip over any non-Procal V5 result data such as aborted tasks with no calibration results Identify all valid results as being an instrument or loop and identify the test point group number for each one Add the calibrator and any auxiliary equipment found to the list of test instruments used in the calibration record screen Check for the calibration due date of the calibrator and other auxiliary test equipment and construct a set of warnings to appear in the authorized calibration screen if applicable. Process all test points and readings according to the item's default test point groups if found, or it will generate default information for those test points and groups that are not found in the database. Build a new calibration record and display the authorized calibration screen for verification of all processed and uploaded data. If authorized, the program will add the displayed record as a new, unfinalized calibration record. Procal V5 contains a special feature that allows you to authorize or skip each calibration result uploaded from the device. It performs this function through the authorized calibration screen. The information you see as you navigate the tabs is what will be used to create the calibration record once authorized. Selecting the Authorize Record button will add the calibration that is currently displayed to the software as a calibration record, and all indicated date rolling and item closing will be performed. The Authorize All button will add an entire upload session to the software as multiple calibration records and all indicated date rolling and item closing will be performed. Selecting the Skip button will skip the current calibration. Nothing will be uploaded and no changes are made to the database. This button is useful when uploading more than once from a single calibrator and the user has already created the current result as a calibration record within the database. The roll dates and or close these items for successful calibration checklist operates exactly the same as the checklist on the calibration screen. The user is required to check the updates they would like to apply if the calibration passes. The Test Instruments tab contains a list of test instruments used for the current calibration. There may be associated warnings for each listed item. The warning condition is indicated by the color of the icon for each test instrument ID or description. Green means that there are no warnings and this item will be added to the list of test instruments used. Yellow means that warnings are possible, but the item will be added to the list of test instruments used anyway. When the warning is red, either the item does not exist or the warnings attached prevent the item from being added to the list of test instruments used. 
You can also choose to add a note for the warning or ignore the warning for this calibration record. This is accomplished by highlighting the test instrument and using the radio buttons that appear to the right. The final tab available on the Upload Download screen is the Options tab. During any download or upload operation, the Options screen allows default values to be set for tasks or results created. After modifying options, the user may select to Save as Default to save the current options as the default options for the next time they open the screen. The Reset button will return the current set of options to the previously saved defaults. This tab displays two sub-tabs download options, and upload options. Let's take a look at the download options. The default loop power field. Fluke calibrators have a power source available for transmitters and other instruments and loops that may need a separate power source. Choose your desired setting from the drop-down list and all downloaded tasks will default to this setting when they are performed on the calibrator. The default user entered value settings section allows you to overwrite the actual measured or sourced value with another numeric value which is stored as a result. This value is used as the value stored in ProCal V5. Choose either source or measure or both source and measure to enable either or both user entered values. User entered values can be useful for recording information that is read by some other means than the calibrator's actual sourcing or measuring capabilities. Setup and wrap up messages display on the calibrator before and or after the calibration procedure depending on your selections. The following options are available for message prompts. None applies no message. First note displays the first note that was added to the instrument or loop. Most recent note displays the note that was added most recently to the instrument or loop. Selecting item description fields means that custom messages are to be entered into the text area directly under the drop-down list that indicates what the setup message is comprised of. SOP procedure will display the procedure field of the instrument or loops associated document ID. The default temperature standard field may be set to use the current calibrator's default, but may also be overridden for the current download session to ITS-90 or IPTS-68. When the force memory clear during download checkbox is checked, the user will receive a message to force the clearing of the memory on the calibrator. When data is stored on the calibrator, and then more tags are downloaded to the calibrator, you now have the ability to save the previously calibrated data in a cache file located on your computer. When uploading results, the program will ask if you would like to include the data that is in the cache file with the current results that are being uploaded. The memory can also be cleared at any time by opening the Features menu and selecting Clear Calibrator Memory. The default download report field is populated with a compatible report such as the Session Download Report. The report will be generated upon the completion of a download. Only reports that have been created for the download will run successfully. Others will return an error. Let's take a look at the Fluke Options section. The Show Prompt on Device Force section provides additional information about the tests you perform in the field through the use of the six checkboxes here. If a checkbox is selected, then the tester will be prompted for that information. The tester's response to the prompts are then saved as part of the testing information on a per tag ID basis. The tester can then decide if the prompts will be presented before or after the test by selecting either the Show Prompt Before or Show Prompt After radio button. Every calibrator has a certain amount of memory which is broken up into tasks and results. By downloading, we erase the results memory and replace the tasks memory with our newly created procedures. The preserve, let's say, 50% memory for results section here allows the tester to save a defined percentage of the memory for the calibration results. Next we have the Upload Options tab where you will find two options. Update an item's status on failure or success will update the status of the calibrated item based on its calibration results. And add note to all calibration results indicating make, model, and serial number of device if available. This option will add a note to all uploaded calibration records which will include the item's make, model, and serial number of the documenting process calibrator used. And that's all there is to it. Now you can use the field calibrator utility in ProCal V5.